YouTube, how are you doing? I am actually was listening to some YouTube, or YouTube, to some Pandora music. Um, wanted to have a token talk with you guys and show you some of the art that I'm working on. Because my little workspace, let me start over. My little workspace is working out really well. It looks really good. Um, and I'm able to let it go. And I don't feel at all any anxiety. See the piece I'm working on this morning? I'm adding all the detail. You guys should go look at my Instagram or my Twitter. I'm going to try to keep them as close to filled as possible, but the Instagram will always have better pictures compared to the Twitter because Twitter's just those things that I want everybody to know about. So, yeah, um, damn it. Are you serious, Oliver? Look at this. He just fucked up my couch. Oh my god. Okay, I have to fix that after I finish this vlog. Wow. Yeah, so, um, Kiki's doing good. Hanging out. Um, Oliver's doing good. Look at them. They're so silly. So let me go ahead and sit this down and do a token talk with you guys. I have a little bit of coffee I'm going to pour, and then I'll be right back. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I am back. I'm grabbing my pipe. Got my very latte, because it is absolutely too light. You can't even see it. Pack a bowl very quickly, and... Um, I guess let's smoke some of the mystery strand left over from the lovely and the greatest subscriber. I wish I could say something, but I can't. Um, <laughs> she knows who she is. Let's see, there's a little bit of the purple oracle left in here, so let me go ahead and finish this bowl. So guys, I hope you're having a really great morning. Today is the 9th of January. I did have plans to go to the grocery store. It may still happen later, but as of right now, since I woke up this morning, I have just been wanting to focus on painting and getting some items up. Thankfully, I sold another item on eBay. I'm very happy about that because that will cover some bills um, that I need to try to get paid this month. And um, so I am making a list this morning of lovely things I need to buy, like butter and bread and cheese and tomatoes and orange juice and things like that. Um, but I haven't had the motivation yet this morning to get up and go. Don't lick. Don't lick. To get up and go to, um, come on, lay down, sweetheart, to the grocery store. But as soon as I do, hopefully I will have enough batter pow battery power and all that fun stuff to do a vlog for you guys to show you what I get today. But if I don't get it today, I will try to get it tomorrow. I can sincerely say I've been de-stressing when I've been painting, so it feels pretty good to be active again. It feels pretty good to have glitter, not on my hands, but maybe on my feet, because they're up there. <laughs> um, you have everything I need up there, and I've been using it. I've been using it like three or four times a day now, which is really good. Um, yesterday was kind of difficult. Definitely have been experiencing some endometriosis pain, so that's why I have been kind of MIA for... Not so many vlogs as I wanted to post. But I can thankfully say that this morning I was able to figure out how to integrate Twitter onto my Twi uh, Instagram page again. Uh, Insta Instagram account again. Rachel Raw Truth. So now I'm able to post, like I said, as many as I can possibly consider being worth to post. I don't know if I'm going to post a lot of cannabis pictures, but maybe some art pictures and things like that will regularly be posted onto the Twitter account. It's just kind of cool to have more organic viewers, too. I'm trying to get better at tagging things, so 2014 is focused on being easy on myself, but trying to do more art and let myself be more free, and that is um, just a teeny tiny little bit left, and I'm kind of conflicted if I should put it in here or not. Let me go ahead. No, let me not. Let me not. This stuff is strong. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can honestly say I feel pretty good about the motivation is here. The mojo is here, but it's just getting things done and up. So, like I said, I did sell something on um, 
on eBay this morning, which I was very happy about, and just waiting for that particular buyer to um, send their payment. Can you not lick? That is so loud. And it's not good for you, Kiki. Um, today it's in the 60s, so it's kind of cold, but it feels pretty great. It's a bright, bright day, obviously. And so, what better day than to start painting? So I switched the um, where the painting view was, so it's kind of more getting more better light now. It's actually getting direct light. Um, and that's kind of good, because I don't ever need to turn on a light in that space. It gets so much light in three different windows on it, which is good, because now the paintings will get even more detailed, because the color's going to be more dramatic. I love it. I have no problem painting in the dark, too, but, you know, it's better for you to have a better perspective of your color tones. See where things might fuck up a little bit better if there's actual light directly on it. Helps with the pigment, that's all I'm going to say. How are you feeling, sweetheart? So, she is eating consistently. We're doing good on that. Um, but she's been getting more sores on her on her um, coat. So I've been putting some of, uh, what is it, olive oil? And that's actually healing it, and the coconut oil. But the vitamin E is in the um, olive oil, so I'm hoping that might actually be beneficial for her a little bit. <sighs> fatigued. I'm so fatigued today, actually. Like I said, I'm trying to get myself going. And the landlord has not actually came and worked on anything yet, but as soon as he does, that's when pretty much my YouTube channel will go in the dark for a little bit, where I'll figure out where I'll vlog from, as I said the other day. Um, so this month, all of January, I just want to keep putting as much effort into getting some finish work so I can get those posted. I have posted a few items onto eBay, which I'll go get those in a second. Hold on a second. Okay. So, I've only posted, I think, four or five items. Now, I'm not going to pull all of it out. I'm just going to pull one out and show you guys real quick. Kind of like a bud. <laughs> and this is one of the earrings. Now, this is no more than... Hold on a second. No more than $10, but... Oh, what did I do to my hand? Oh, that's paint. Ha ha! That will happen, guys. You'll start seeing paint on my hands. I don't care. <laughs> But it's basically copper wiring with, like, beads in the center. It's kind of like a dream catcher, but an earring. And that one is starting bid. I'm not sure what it is. I think it might be five bucks. I'm not sure. But, um, if I can get these sold, that'd be great. It's another one. That is posted right now. So if you guys want to see better detailed pictures and not video with crappy lighting and all that fun stuff, you should go to my eBay account. I will post that below this video, or you can go to my main page if it's not posted below the video right now. Um, and you can take a look at this beautiful jewelry. And these are sterling silver for the um, ear section ear hook. What am I trying to say? The loops for the earrings. And then, last but not least, the beautiful bracelet I have shown throughout 2000 and, uh, or 2013. I didn't actually get it posted other than onto SD, but it is a very elegant, very overdone bracelet that I finally posted. Now, this is a very high-priced item because it took a lot of beads, took a lot of effort. But it's really unique because it is actually feathers. I love this piece. And I wouldn't keep it because I can't really wear jewelry that much anymore. Uh, with my fibromyalgia, it hurts. So I make jewelry now just to sell and for the therapy of making something. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and send me a message on my Facebook or a message on my Instagram. Or even a message on eBay, which, like, again, you can go to my main page, the channel, here, and right at the top, there's a link to my eBay account. 
Mm. Oh, I'm so tired. That's why I cannot get this done. I wish I could. I need to go to the grocery store. Especially for the butter. I have bread. Don't have any butter. <laughs> Very annoying. I do have olive oil, which I have been using to just lightly toast English muffin. That kind of thing. I've been craving donuts, but it's like, it's not even important to buy. <laughs> donuts. Mmm. guys noticed I am using a different pipe. This is actually the pipe that I bought. Um, this pipe here was an ex-boyfriend bought to replace several pipes he broke. So, <laughs> or lost. Very annoying. So I really only have these three pieces to work with. But I like this pipe because, sorry, because it's really just a really good mouse Peeth, mouse, peeth, peace. I cannot speak. Oh my god, mouse, peeth, peace. What the fuck? <laughs> mouse, peace. And um, the bowl, actual hole in the car, but really good size. Now it's not the easiest to clean because it is kind of a small pipe, but I like the way it looks. And I've talked about it in other vlogs. The only thing I don't like is this stupid saints symbol. Do you see the Fleur de Lis? Yes, it's upside down. I don't like it. I think it's really cheesy. I want to shave, razor that thing, whatever. Scratch it off. It's been etched into it, though, but it's like, I want a circle. <laughs> I don't like the Florida Lee symbol. I just think it's, there's a lot to it. Many old vlogs I have talked about that. So this pipe, I hate it because I touch it and I feel onto that it feels like chalkboard. That's how I feel. Like it makes my body quiver and not in a good way. <sighs> so guys, this is a 12 minute long vlog. I do want to go ahead and show you guys the pieces I'm working on so you get excited. So let me pause the video and grab them and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is where I'm at at this point with this one. Now I just added some more purple tones, if you see all the highlighted purple. Plus I also added a ton of perspective in the glitter, because I want it to move. I want people to... You can't see it in this lighting. Let me try to fix that. Hold on. Can you see it? And in the branches in the trees, hopefully the light will pick it up. I have a ton of highlights there, all the copper tones. So that one is still wet currently, and I have to be very gentle with this. But for your viewing pleasure... <laughs> okay, the next one is slightly delicate because it's not finished, and I still have a lot of etching to do on the parts that there's like this. This is going to have detail of actual flaking, gold flaking, because everything else I have is leafing and glitter whole bunch of stuff. But I am so impressed and pleased with what I'm doing, so it is what I want it to, to be this whole like story of amazing dimensions and color and for it to literally move when you look at it. So I added white and I added some more glitter tones, some purple and some black and some golds. I just love it because it moves. It really does move. Like Especially in this place right here. This is the newest like, detail. So you use some of the black glitter and whatnot. And that just works so well. Right here, it moves. I love it. So it's a really good piece to put where your window comes right, the light comes right in. So it will look totally different. Whatever angle it is placed in. It brings out different parts of the painting. And that is exactly my point. That's the way I make my work. I've just always done it that way. Same right here. Literally picks up the light. And that is the 18 karat gold um, leafing that I used. And then there's some right here. Which kind of brings out the bowing of if you want to call that a feather, a leaf. I don't care. It's not supposed to really give an actual impression. It's supposed to just give you a personal impression. So... Excuse, my fingernails are all funky. So down here, there is 
additional, it's so dark you can't see it. Let's try this. There we go. There's additional tone that I need to work on, but it's really coming alive. I love it. So you see how if it was really high, you might only see it at that kind of de definition if you had a light that went over it. A lot of different things you can do with my my work because that's the point. I, want, I work on it in so many different light settings to look at this I'm all dark now so many different light settings so that you guys can actually I guess have the choice and the texture I love the texture on this it's exactly what I wanted it's beautiful and it tells a story it's really unique so expect a lot of this kind of work this year guys now it gets better the newest creation is another floral I wouldn't say that's technically floral. I've had people say that other piece I just showed you is more like ocean scene, but you know what? That's cool. Whatever you think. <laughs> that's the point. I'm going to work on um, doing some morphing with this. It's definitely not finished, but I'm loving the shapes, especially for over here, if you can kind of see the folding of the colors down here. Let me give you a definition of the point. Hold on. There we go. Do you see that? Do you see the gold? It brings it out. And then, okay, so then we've got, let's see if I can show you, all the different fading. This is actually only two tones, but it really gives it more of like a, almost like I've added grays and whatnot. It's just the black really just brings it out when you add the pink tone. Now the center here, I'm not sure how I'm going to do all the rest of it, but the main intense shape is here. This is the blue, pinkish form, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then this is going to have a lot more dimension. Now, you can't probably see it, but there's a lot of shading that went into this. Dry brush to wet brush to... I already have put some um, metal, you know, leafing on it, but it's not finished. But I'm excited. I'm going to also be using acrylics on that piece, just like I've been doing on this piece and a lot of other pieces I do. I like like a mixed medium. It just gives it a really good flair. It um, brings out the right depth of what you're trying to do with contrast, color, and textures. So I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs the last couple days that I have been able to release videos. Um, I'm really excited. I have like 15 new subscribers. Welcome all of you lovely people. And um, stay tuned for much, much more in 2014. I can't believe it's already freaking the 9th of January. It's crazy. Um, so, and I will be working on some new pieces. Obviously, this is not all for this year. I just, I've had such a hard time getting myself motivated to get all the stuff off of SD. There's one piece that I need, or two pieces I need to put up that are on SD, but, um, have not been relisted, so they're just in my files. I have to go and pull all the information off, go and pull all the pictures off, make sure if the pictures are even worth putting on eBay, decide how I want to put the text on eBay. It's just a very big process, but as soon as I get it done, the best part about eBay is you can just relist. So if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. I'm really not trying to stress myself out, and I never really have been trying to stress myself out. It's just how much energy do I have to put stuff out, so... The fact that I am showing all of you guys three pieces and four pieces that are already posted, you know, and three that I'm working on, are, that one's probably days away from being, this one here, it's probably days away from being posted on eBay, and I will let you guys know when it's up. I hope you guys are enjoying me sharing my silliness creatively. You take a, a swag, swag, swig, 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 that's right, swig of coffee, hold on. so yummy. Oh yeah. So if you guys have any um, requests for, I don't know, I've been thinking about doing a question and answer video maybe. You guys could ask whatever you want. If you want, go and send me a question at Rachel Raw Truth at Twitter. Um, tweet at me and ask me a question and maybe in my next vlog I will do a QA. and a It depends on really questions. I've been kind of thinking about it. But um, this video is already 20 minutes long. I already smoked with you guys, showed you the art. You take a bath. <laughs>
get the rest of my day going. I need to get to the grocery store. I don't want to deal with it. That's what it is. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. It means lifting it all in the house, putting it away, getting the... I don't want to do it today. That's really what I think it comes down to. I'm just tired. I just want to fucking rest. My back has been hurting much, too much today, so I'm kind of impressed with myself with how much I've actually done today, even getting it out on the social interwebs <laughs> and letting you guys know what's up. <sighs> so, I will talk to all of you wonderful people soon. Do stay tuned, leave me comments, and please feel free to share my videos and share my posts. And if you are on Facebook, please go to my Miss Chronic Chronicles page and like the page and share some of the ongoing art that I am sharing as it develops. Um, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!